Don't go to pieces. Oh, but I were fresh. You mean she was useful to you? Come on, Jilly, don't go soft on me now. I think your highness met my fiance, Mr. Sanders, uh, yesterday at lunch. Meet me at the horse stud, where Tara's pride is stable this afternoon at four. Those photos are my passport to everything I want out of life. Jessica's offering me everything. Her love, her youth, her whole life. Well, I wish I had have discovered that you are my real father. I don't trust her an inch. I thought it was a trick. I thought it was harmless, like the first one. It's our fault. That means it's murder. It was an accident. They won't believe us. They'll charge us. Oh, God, I'll go back to jail. No one is going to jail. What are we going to do? I don't know. We'll have to think of something. Fast. OK, first we've got to get rid of the snake. I've got a gun. Get it. Shot and calls the police. We'll worry about that if it happens. Careful. Where the hell's it got to? Look under the body. Ah! Everything all right, madam? Did you hear something too? It sounded like a gunshot. I thought it came from the house. No, it was outside. Uh, must have been a car backfiring. It sounded closer, but uh, I suppose it could have been a car. Gave us both a fright. <laughs> I nearly jumped out of my skin. We don't want that. I'll get back to work now. Um, I wanted to talk to you anyway. Mr. Sanders and I are going out to dinner this evening, so uh, why don't you take the rest of the day off? Are you sure you won't be needing me? I'm sure. Finish whatever you were doing, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, madam. Get rid of him. I hope you didn't explain I'd taken up snake hunting. Oh. It'll soon be over. I don't know how I managed to carry it off with Michael. Oh, God! For God's sake! Don't go to pieces! Oh. Oliver and I were friends. You mean she was useful to you? Come on, Jilly, don't go soft on me now. Otherwise, I'll walk out and leave you to clear up this mess yourself. No! What do you want me to do? Help me dispose of your friend tonight. Hi, Dennis. Can you get away? Not till Tony's finished. We're supposed to be at the office. I know, but I'm running a bit late. See you there in an hour. That doesn't give us enough time between security guard checks. Well, I'll try and get off as soon as I can. Will you put that thing down? What's the matter? Don't you want anybody to see that sour expression you're wearing? I wish you'd get your priorities straight. Ripping off... 
Ripping off Jake Sanders is no joke. You're right. It's damn dangerous. And I was probably out of my head to let you talk me into it. Look, you know how important this is to me. And my work here is important to me. What are you trying to do? Build a fashion career or give Jake and Jilly what's coming to them? Why can't I do both? Look, look, I won't take very long on the computer tonight. And then we can go back to my place. That's if you're still interested. Yeah, sure. Okay, Cassidy, let's go. This Jake. You can talk. I've got the heavy end. Oh. I don't think I could go through with this. Okay, fine. Call the police. Hand yourself in. The end result will be the same unless you pull yourself together. We'd never finish. Oh, I've still got to develop it all. Look, why don't you come in here and do it in the morning? How does, um, 7 o'clock sound? Fine. Thanks, Cassie. You're an angel. We'll have to be quick. The next security check is in 45 minutes. I'm sorry I got a bit upset earlier. Just tension. Dennis, we don't have to do this. I know a better way to get money. <laughs> so tell me. But I don't want to use it spending years fighting legal battles. Let's just use it for us. We could go away somewhere. Start a whole new life together. Are you going to let me into this little secret? Not just yet. Thanks, pal. Not until you agree to come away with me. What about getting even with Jake and Jilly? The money will come from them. But I have to try and get this company back. What's more important to you? I sell the company. Don't bother saying anything. I get the sudden feeling I've been used. You're no better than Jake. Come off it, Cass. Well, prove that you really care. Forget about Jake. Come away with me. Where do you want to go? Europe? America? You know I can't walk out. If you've got something on Jake and Jilly. No. I won't tell you. 
And you can count me out of this, too. I was only helping you because I thought that... I never gave you any promises. No. I just made my usual mistake. Giving the man the benefit of the doubt. You can't pull out now. Give me one single reason why I should help you. Now that I know how you really feel about me. Suit yourself. I've watched you enough to do it on my own anyway. Dennis, you'll get caught. You want out? Let me worry about that. Well, I don't know about you, but I need a drink. Come on, it'll do you good. We'll both feel better for a good night's sleep. You'll stay? If you want me to. I couldn't face that room alone. Mm. Don't waste any tears on Olive. If I hadn't stopped her, you could be the one lying dead somewhere tonight. I haven't thanked you, have I? For saving your life? It was nothing. For not leaving me on my own to get out of this mess. I have my reasons for sticking around. I want to stay with you. Always. Nightmare? Yes. Olive. Don't worry. I'm gonna be here all night. And every night from now on, if you'll have me. I've been so suspicious of you. But today's changed everything. Good. Come on. So no regrets about the engagement? Not anymore. I'm sorry for not trusting you. Jake, I, I never thought after Greg that I'd ever trust another man again. To be honest, I've been waiting for you to turn on me the way he did. But now I see how wrong I was. I had seven years in prison. I think I went a little crazy. Hating everybody. Made me care for someone again, and I'm so grateful to you for that. What I'm trying to say is, if you'd like to set a date for the wedding, let's make it soon. A month from today. I didn't hear you get up. Feeling better? I didn't think I got any real sleep before six. It's that room. Move to another one. Put Princess Talitha in your room. Oh, the princess. I forgot. She's arriving today. That's all I need. I know, I know. You're on edge. We both are. But it's vital that the princess stays here. Or a complete waste of time. What if Amal hasn't told her anything about the land deal? Well, that remains to be seen. But there must be a very good reason why Armand would want to buy a slice of the Northern Territory. Perhaps he really does want to establish a cattle run. No. No, not what he's willing to pay. It doesn't make sense that he'd agree to such an inflated price. Why not? He's loaded. No one bargains harder than a billionaire. No, he's up to something. How am I supposed to pump the princess? She probably speaks English about as well as I speak French. I'm counting on you. I'll do what I can. Well, one good thing about it all. We've set the wedding date. 
Mrs. Sanders. It will work out for us, won't it, Jake? It'll work out perfectly. I'll make sure of it. Butterflies. It's going to be so hard walking into that house, seeing Jilly there. If you like, I could just plant the boot and they wouldn't see us for dust. Too late. Besides, I've made up my mind. Your Highness, welcome to Eden. I hope you'll treat the house as your own during this day. Princess Talitha is delighted to accept your hospitality. And you must be John Ryan, the princess's bodyguard. And interpreter. Her Highness does speak some English, doesn't she? Oh, yes, uh, excellent English. However, there are times when she doesn't fully understand what's being said to her. So if you need any assistance. I won't hesitate. Now, if you both care to follow me inside... Uh, have I done something wrong? Where Her Highness comes from, contact with strangers is not permitted. Oh, I, I didn't know. It's all right. We won't shoot you this time. <laughs> Please. It's a very old tradition. In fact, they don't go in for touching much at all outside the harem. I'll have to make allowances. I've arranged for the princess to have my room. It has the best view of the garden and the water beyond. You're too kind. <laughs> Would you like to see the room now? Arafat Romani El Ahmed Bahrain. Good morning, Your Highness. I think Your Highness met my fiancé, Mr. Sanders, uh, yesterday at lunch. If there's anything I can do to make your stay more pleasurable, please let me know. I'll translate that later. Here we are. Yours is the room across the hall. Thank you. Perhaps you'd like a few moments to yourselves, and uh, then I'll have the butler bring up your luggage. I can assure you, everything's in order. I don't take it personally. I am responsible for the princess's safety. It's just routine. Well, I'll allow you to get on with your inspection. Are you OK? For one ghastly moment, I thought Jake recognized me. No, no, you're doing fine. You're just a bit uncomfortable playing the stranger in your own home. That's part of it. But I warn you, don't underestimate Jake. He's very sharp. He didn't look it. We're going to have to try and keep him off balance. Perhaps, perhaps a mild flirtation with the Princess Talitha would do the trick. Your disguise wouldn't last five minutes if you tried that. I can handle it. Well, I sweat it out. Now, that'd be a small bonus. Sure you're not trying to just get back at Jilly? You don't seriously imagine that I'm jealous of her snaring him. Though I must admit, I wouldn't love to see her squirm. Just remember why we're here. If this is going to work, we've got to get in and get out just as fast as we can. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten. He acted as though he thought there could be an assassin under the bed. He's paid to protect her. Nice job. Oh, caught your fancy, has she? I can't help feeling there's a lot going on underneath all that wrapping. You know, it's funny, but for a moment there... What? Well, I didn't notice anything yesterday at the restaurant, but uh, seeing her here today, at Eden... Why should that make any difference? I don't know. But she had a certain look in her eyes. Careful. She might feel the same way about you. 
With her brother not around, who knows? She could turn out to be a real tigress. Love your new office, Bill. Couldn't they find you anything smaller? It serves my purpose. Bit of a come down for you, though, isn't it? Still, you can hardly have your old office back now that Jilly Stewart's ensconced as general manager. Hmm? You're not questioning my loyalty to Stephanie. What if I am? Because I could level a similar charge at you. Now, I'm here for a reason, Dennis. And what's that? Well, this isn't the place to discuss it. Mr. McMaster, the files from the computer branch. Thank you, girl. Computer analysis reports? Yes. What do you want them for? Because I've been asked to pinpoint the causes for the recent dip in profits. Found anything yet? Nothing specific. But if I could get the peace and quiet I need for a careful examination, I'd get to the bottom of it. That's if you don't have any objection to that also. Of course not. If anyone should ask, uh, you do recall having dinner with Gillian myself last night, don't you, Anton? Oh, very clearly. Might I ask where I remember having it? At your apartment. Just the three of us. We had vichyssoise, beef burgundy, skipped dessert, then chatted over port and coffee till about, uh, well, let's say, well after midnight. I'll adjust my diary. And so what has Gillian done this time to demand such an elaborate alibi? Nothing. Oh, no, of course, we were dining. Still, if I had a choice, I'd prefer to stick my neck out for Princess Talita. Yes, yes, a very intriguing woman. I was thinking of her personal fortune. I'm not a gigolo, Anton. I'm a businessman. A soon-to-be-married businessman. You're not going to go through with it. Jilly and I get married in a month's time. And I'm afraid I can't see my way clear to letting you be best man unless your attitude improves, Anton. But to actually marry her... It's the only way I can keep her in line. For better or worse, I'm stuck with her. Until? Till death do us part, Anton. You should know that. This is Tara's, the most successful fashion house in the country. You must have quite a talent to have built up a place like this. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit. In the early days, it received a boost from a model, Tara Wells. Nice eyes. You must miss your sister. How does your highness know that Tara was my sister? Oh, everyone at the palace knows the story of Stephanie Harper. The princess has a better command of English than I realized. And who's this? One of your top models? No, just an assistant. Cassie, take the princess to the changing area and uh, help her make a selection. We're going to fit you out in Western clothes? Oh, no, that is impossible. Well, I understood Prince Armal was keen for Her Highness to learn our way of doing things. Uh, yes, but there are certain traditions involving the dress code. Religious significance? I see. Oh, one can't force these things. However, I'm sure Her Highness is most touched. Well, then, Cassie, bring me a catalogue so the princess can make her choice later, when she's ready. Perhaps some of these new designs would be of interest. Something else, aren't they? love lost between those two, that's obvious. This woman, correct me if I'm wrong, was one of your little helpers, wasn't she? What happened? Step out of line, did she? Start getting ideas of her own? Get in the road when you and Jake wanted to tumble. Don't push your luck, Cassie. I might have to arrange the same fate for you. You're hardly in any position to make threats, Jilly. Do you seriously think you could risk the disappearance of a second associate? 
Even you'd have trouble lying your way out of disposing of Olive and me. All right. You've made your point. Good. Now, let me tell you what I want. Two seventeen. Is that good? I'd like to see you do better. I forgot to bring my track shoes. <laughs> well done, Kevin. Tara's pride's in top form. A real winner. I'll enter him in as many qualifying races as I can. Qualifying races? Qualifying for what? The Melbourne Cup. What else? Could he really run in the Melbourne Cup? I don't see why not. Well, it would take a great deal of time and money, wouldn't it? What do you think? It'd be exciting. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Thank you. What for? For including me. Making me part of your life. You are a very big part of my life. You must know that. Kevin? Is Jake Saunders horse still here? The one he gave Miss Harper? Yeah. I contacted him about it and he sent me a cheque to cover expenses. Said he'd rather leave it here. Trust him. Business is business. Does it matter? I don't need any reminder of Saunders. Because of the way he felt about Stephanie. That's it, isn't it? Why can't we ever spend five minutes together without having her looking over our shoulder? Jessica, listen. Now, I know I talk a lot about Stephanie. But I loved her very deeply. I would never believe I could come to care for somebody else so quickly. But you have to respect that I still mourn Stephanie and accept the way I feel for you without trying to force things. I'm sorry. I know I've been pushing things. But it's only because I love you so much. And I can't help but feel jealous about the way you love Stephanie. Give it time, Jess. Give it time. Do you want to give us a hand putting a hole in Jilly's scotch? No, thanks. Shouldn't she cover your face? She won't be back for ages. You're looking a bit sad at the moment. Dan? We were so happy here for a while. Before Jilly. I can't blame it all on her. It was the company, my fighting to keep it. That's what finally came between us. I didn't expect him to be quite so quick to rush off with someone else, however. Someone young enough to be his daughter. Be fair. He thinks you're dead. I don't know. Perhaps it was over anyway. I think he would have left if I hadn't lost everything else. He was just feeling sorry for me. What about you? And be honest. Are you upset about the girl because you're still in love with Dan? Because your pride's hurt. Well, it doesn't matter. I won't let it affect the scam, so don't worry about it. Jilly was uh, sure chewing her nails when we got back from Tara's. Cassie must have really put a flea in her ear. Good for Cassie. I'm sorry, Mr. Stewart. Mr. Sanders asked not to be disturbed. He's with... I don't care who he's with. He's seeing me whether he likes it or not. Before you rush into it, Amal, let me do a complete survey and assessment of the land. That is unnecessary at the moment. Excuse me. Can I talk to you? Not now, Julie. I'm in the middle of a very important meeting. This can't wait? Please. It is not gracious to keep a lady waiting. I won't be long, Your Highness. Amal, I'm aware that you know the land is highly suitable for running cattle, but I'm deeply concerned at the asking price. Money is no object, Bill. Quite possibly. But I'd be letting an old friend down if I didn't try and protect your interests. I appreciate your concern, however... In fact, I've taken the liberty of sending a couple of our company surveyors up to the property. You've what? 
I've asked them to thoroughly check out the whole area. Give me an assessment of the, of the land's true value. Now, they're top geologists. It won't take them long to give me that assessment. And the cunning little bitch wants half ownership of Tara's. A fair price, if she keeps her mouth shut. And if she can be trusted. You've got to hand it to Cassie. She's obviously picked up a trick or two from me along the way. Well, I'm glad you find it so amusing. But don't you realize what she can do to us if we don't deliver? Oh, I don't think she'll do anything. She's not used to fighting dirty. Don't you believe it? You see, the advantage I have is that I, I have some power over Cassie. Or at least I used to. Oh, don't tell me you're going to try and charm her. Would you rather go to jail? With your experience, I'm sure you could make an informed choice. Heavier. Make a hand over the negatives. No, no, no. Cassie doesn't work like that. You have to know how to pull her emotional strings. And you do. But I don't think I've lost my touch. Do you? You could be making a grievous financial error. What if the land doesn't come up to expectation? But even if it does, the price is exorbitant. I am quite prepared to pay what they want. But why? Unless the land has some extra value. Have you already had a geological report done? Are there some valuable minerals on the land? Bill, there are things I cannot discuss fully with you. But you used to discuss all your dealings with me. You trusted me. Things have changed. Well, I haven't. I may now work for Jake Sanders, but that doesn't mean that I've forgotten Stephanie or that I'm not still loyal to her friends. I don't think badly of you, Bill. But I have to play my cards very close to my chest on this one. Amal, there's something strange about this deal. And Jake senses it too. Now, you may not trust him. I wouldn't blame you. But I want to assure you I want to be positive you're not being cheated. I know. And it hurts me having to be guarded with an old friend. You're crazy, Jake. Meet me at the horse stud where Tara's pride is stabled this afternoon at four. I'll explain everything then. But surely... Please, be there. And it is imperative that you say nothing of this to anyone. I want this whole land transfer finalized as soon as possible. I want nothing to go wrong. What could possibly go wrong? We have it all in hand, don't we, Bill? Yes, of course. It will be just as you wish, Your Highness. Wonderful. You sure you're not spoiling her, Angelo? Oh, I could never do that. Oh, don't you believe it. Your hair looks great. I felt like a change. Out with the old, in with the new, you know. What suits you? Sounds as if you have the perfect honeymoon. You bet. Yes, really good. And Tom, is he? Oh, Tom's regained consciousness. In time, he'll make a full recovery. He hasn't been told about the baby? No, not a word. Well, now, what's next on the agenda for you two? <sighs> Finding a place to live. After what Sarah's been used to, I don't really expect her to move into my bachelor flat. Now, you know I don't mind. You're more than welcome to stay here while you look around. Could we? Won't it be a bit crowded with Dennis and Jessica here as well? Dennis is gone. Moved out? How come? Oh, just the way things worked out. So, it's a deal, huh? I'll move your bags into the spare room. Thanks, Dr. Marshall. Well, looks like we've fallen on our feet. Yes, haven't we? Would... would you like to go and see Tom? Only if you... Of course I don't mind. You're my wife now. I trust you. One hundred percent. G'day, Doc. Hello, Tom. Time for my daily checkup. That's right. I have someone here who wants to see you first. And I'll see you shortly. Dan told me you spent quite a while at my bedside when I was knocked out. We didn't know if you were going to make it. I was afraid. I plan to stick around for quite a while yet. I hope so. When I finally came to, it was your wedding day. Tom, 
I know it must have seemed awfully quick to you, but Angelo and I had been seeing each other for a while. Look, you don't have to explain anything to me. Are you happy with Angelo? Yes, it's going to be fine. He's a terrific guy. It's a shame you had to go rushing back to Queensland. None of this would have happened. It didn't come to anything, did it? You said it. I'm sorry you had to go through all this for me. Mine too. But it didn't work. Looks as though you're stuck with me as a half-brother. You dragged your feet. I was expecting the pleasure of your company sooner than this. I had a meeting. Your turn. Sorry. I was waiting for you to threaten me. <laughs> I think we can take that as red. Oh, I hate skipping the scary parts. I didn't come here to bully you. I hope we could discuss the situation sensibly. There's nothing to discuss. The photos are in a safe place, and you're going to give me half of Tara's. Tara's belongs to Jilly. It has nothing to do with me anymore. Then you've got nothing to lose. So what's your worry? Jill is my fiance. <laughs> yes. Congratulations on your engagement. You two certainly deserve each other. Uh-huh. So that's behind your little scheme. A touch of jealousy. You can think what you like. There must have been some reason why you didn't go to the police. And you figure the reasons you. I haven't forgotten the good times we had together. And I haven't completely ruled out the possibility of having them again. You conceited bastard. Ha! Oh, I wouldn't touch you if my life depended on it. I take it that's a no. Oh, don't think I'm not grateful to you. I learned quite a lot from our time together. I learned that to survive, you go in fighting for what you want and you walk right over anyone who gets in your way. Graduating with honours, aren't you? Those photos are my passport to everything I want out of life. And either you and Jilly come up with the 50% ownership of Tara's, or the police will be knocking on your door before you know what's happened to you. I can't stay with you long. I've got an appointment with Prince Amal. It's all a bit odd. Why? No, it doesn't matter. I don't want to worry you with business. It's rather nice to have a bit of peace and quiet. Jake Sanders getting to you already. Well, I feel a bit uneasy being there. I keep expecting to turn around and find Stephanie walking down the corridor. Uh, death really knocked you for a six, didn't it? I miss her. Tom, you know that Angelo and Sarah are coming home today? Yes. I've seen her already. What did you tell her? That my whole trip to Queensland was a wild goose chase. So she still thinks you're her half-brother? If she's happy with Angelo, what's the point of me rocking the boat? I'm very proud of you, son. You know what? I wish I had have discovered that you are my real father. I couldn't want anyone for a better dad. So, Cassie wouldn't come to the party. Stubborn little tart. We'll have to give her what she wants. Half of Tara's, but it's mine. What do you value more, Tara's or your own neck? You better make damn sure you get all the photographs and the negatives. Provided we play along, we should be all right. I don't trust her an inch. Well, I can't spend all my time worrying about this. I've got more important things to do. Stay a while. No, no, no. I need time to think. I want to go over Surveyor's report that Bill McMaster's expecting the minute it lobs in from the Northern Territory. Where's the princess? Her bloody high and mightiness has gone off to look at the horse Amal gave Stephanie. 
You're supposed to be getting information from her. You should have tagged along. Don't you think I tried? But our darling princess didn't need an interpreter to make it very plain that my presence wouldn't be welcome. Hmm. Maybe the princess would respond to some more masculine attention. <laughs> you have to do a lot better than you did with Cassie. Oh, I have a feeling the princess is far less experienced. Well, do your worst. Yes, I might just join them at the stud. After all, I do have a horse there. The colt you gave my dear departed sister. Yes. You know, something about that princess, Talitha, something that disturbs me. I haven't worked out what it is yet. But I certainly mean to. Hi. How was Tom after I left? Very quiet. Do I have the right not to tell him about the baby? As his doctor, I advise against him being put under any more stress. He still isn't strong. Well, I suppose that eases my conscience somewhat. Seth, there's something that I need to get off my own conscience. Something to do with why Dennis moved out? Yes. It concerns Jessica. <laughs> because she's crazy about you. Did that upset my big brother? You knew? Oh, it stuck out of mine. I bet you were embarrassed when you realized. Poor Jessica. Did you manage to let her down gently? Actually, Sass, that's not quite the way it was. Dennis left because of Jessica. And me. You don't mean... Oh, Dan. It just seems so soon. Don't think I haven't agonized over it. Stephanie, the fact that Jessica's so young. But I can't escape it, Sass. I've fallen in love with her. She must have really thrown herself at you to make you forget Mum. I still love Steph, Sass. And I always will. But our marriage wasn't always a happy one. Particularly toward the end. I know. The company got in the way. But it mightn't if you had another chance. Who knows? But really, I do feel I have another chance with Jessica. In some ways, I've been lonely for a long time, even before Stephanie's death. Jessica's offering me everything. Her love, her youth, her whole life. I can't risk losing that. You're human. And who am I to start making value judgments? I'll mourn Steph all my life, but in here, where it matters. I've been called back for a second audition. Hey. Good for you. It's only a minor part. You've told Sarah about us. Mm-hmm. I know you can't be very happy about it, not judging by the way Dennis reacted. Oh, I think Dennis had other reasons to be upset. You don't mind, then? It just all happened a little faster than I expected. Perhaps you'd all be happier to see Dan in misery. Hey, Sarah's not against us. She understands. I hope you can both be really happy. Mr. McMaster? Yes? Unfortunately, Prince Amal couldn't make it. He sends his apologies. I had to leave several urgent matters to get down here. Now, Prince Amal assured me he'd be on hand to explain what's going on. And he hasn't forgotten. But if you'd like to follow me, I'm sure you'll get all the explanation you need. How I've missed you. Princess, Mr. McMaster thinks you owe him an explanation. I didn't mean to be rude, Your Highness. I was expecting a business meeting with your brother. But I would appreciate any information you can give me. Bill 
what can I say? Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was you, Mr. Sanders. Come to check on your cold. Shortly. I've got some friends here I want to see first. Okay, I'll be around the back. It's wonderful to see you again. And you. Only in my case, Oh, I... Bill, I know. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for putting everyone through the ordeal of thinking that I was dead. But there was just no other way that I could hope to catch Jake and Jilly off their guard. Well, you know I'll do anything to help you get Harper Mining back. <laughs> 